Hi, fifth grade. Today we are moving on to lesson 4.3, which is over place value sections method. This is actually going to be a review, but it's a review from what we learned in fourth grade. So I know that has been a while, but as we go through it, you'll probably get the hang of it pretty quickly and it'll come back to you. Um, so today we have to use the place value sections method when we're multiplying. I know you know how to do the shortcut method. I know you know several ways to multiply and some of you are very good at it already. However, today you must use the place value sections method, which we're gonna do in our notes. So exactly how we do it in our notes, you have to do it like that on your assignment. You have to use the box every single time and then next week you'll get to start choosing. So if you don't like to use the box, you have to use it today, but then next week when we move on to our next lessons, you'll get to choose how you want to do it, okay? So really watch as we go through these notes because that is how you need to do your entire assignment. We're gonna go ahead and start. So it says solve with place value sections. Number one, a flower garden is 67 inches long and 43 inches wide. What is the area of the garden? Okay, I know we're multiplying today. And when it says place value sections, you should automatically think we are using the box. So remember, we're gonna draw a box. We're gonna be writing in here. So draw it big enough for you to be able to write in. And find that first number, which is 67. And we have to break that apart. When I break 67 apart, it becomes 60 plus seven. And then I wanna break my other number apart. So 43, when I break that apart, it becomes 40 plus three. Is it looking more familiar to you, hopefully? Then at my plus signs, remember I'm going to draw a line. So on each of my plus signs. And then I have to solve each part of this box. So in this box, what two things should I be multiplying together? 60 and 40, because those are the two things that are part of that box. I can use my zeros trick, so cover up those zeros. Six times four is 24, and then I have two zeros. And I like to circle that number so that I can come back and find it here in a little bit. Then I'll go over to my next box. What two numbers am I multiplying here? 60 and three. So 60 times three, use that zeros trick. Six times three is 18, add a zero, so 180. Then I go to my next box, 40 and seven. So 40 times seven, using that zeros trick. Four times seven is 28, add one zero. Remember I'm circling these so I can find them here in a minute. And my last box, seven and three, so seven times three, which is 21. So I have all my boxes. What do I do once I have all my boxes there? I add them up. Remember, we stack all of our numbers up and we add them together. So 2,400, 180, 280, and 21. And I'm just going to add so that would be a one. This would be an 18, so carry my one. This would be four, five, six, seven, eight. And then just a two. So 2,881. And I need a label. Remember it said area, so our label should be square inches. Remember anytime it's asking about area, we put square in front of it and then our actual label, which is inches because that's how they're measuring the garden. Square inches. Okay, hopefully it's coming back to you. I know I went pretty quickly. This should be kind of a review, so it should come back to you pretty quick. Let's do a couple more just to make sure. So number two, a theater has 39 rows of seats. Each row has 54 seats. How many seats are in the theater? All right, we know we have to use place value sections today, so we need to draw our box. It's the only choice I have today. My first number is a 39. How do I break up 39? 
30 plus nine. My other number is a 54. How do I break up 54? 50 plus four. What do I do at each of my plus signs? Draw that line and then I'm ready to work in each one of my boxes. This box right here, what two things would I multiply? 30 times 50 using my zeros trick. Three times five is 15, add two zeros. Go to my next box. What two things am I multiplying in this box? 30 times four. Three times four is 12 with one zero, so 120. Go down to this box. What two things am I multiplying down here? 50 times nine. Using my zeros trick, nine times five is 45 with one zero, so 450. And my final box back here would be for nine times four. Nine times four is 36. Now I have all four of my boxes, but I'm not done yet. What is my final step to get my answer? Add all of that together. So 1,500, 120, 450, and 36. Make sure we stack them up nicely so that I can easily tell when I'm adding. That would be a six. That would be a 10. So put my zero, carry my one. That would be an 11. So put my one, carry my one. And one and one would be two. So 2,106. Then I just have to find my label. What would my label be on this one? Seats. There are 2,106 seats in this movie theater. Alrighty, there's actually two more in our notes. Let's just do one more. I think that will be enough for you. If you're still having trouble after we do this third one together, remember you can go back and watch the video and really look at each part and then I bet you'll get the hang of it. So number three, last one we'll do together for the video lesson today. There are 32 cattle cars on today's train to Detroit. Each car holds 28 cows. How many cows are on the train? All right, I know I have to use the box today because we're doing place value sections method. So I'm going to draw my box. You should know about how big to draw it now since you know what we're doing again, reminded yourself. My first number is a 32. I need to break it up for my box. How do I break up 32? 30 plus two. And then my second number is a 28. How am I going to break up 28? 20 plus eight. What do I do at each of my plus signs? Divide my box. And now I'm ready to go. Let's start up here. What two things am I multiplying in that top box? 30 times 20. Use your zeros trick. Three times two is six with two zeros, so 600. Next box over here, what would I be multiplying? 30 times eight, using my zeros trick. Eight times three is 24 with one zero, so 240. Going down here, 20 times two, that would be 40. And my final box over here, what would I multiply? Eight times two, which is 16. I have all my boxes filled in and my final step is to add them up. 600, 240, 40, and 16. Making sure I stack them up nicely. You don't wanna mess up on your addition. That would be a six, that would be a nine, and that would be an eight. So 896, and what would my label be for this one? Cows. Okay, so I wanna say it one more time before you start your assignment. Today, we are focusing on the place value sections method. You must use this method on all of your multiplication on your homework side. You have to use the box, you have to split up your numbers because we wanna practice and make sure we're good with this. And then next week when we move on to our next lesson, you will get to choose, okay? Good luck, 
do your best. You've got it. Watch the video again if you need to. Bye.